Hi guys, this is Crossy and welcome to Eclipse Gaming TV and to a very rare video considering how things have gone in recent times and apologies for that but you know, as you can probably tell if you've been a subscriber for any length of time you know, being reliable and keeping videos ticking along has been a difficult thing for me due to a number of reasons and you know, that is still going to continue unfortunately but got some exciting news and some exciting developments which haven't been launched yet but if you're watching this thing live uh, will be in the next uh, week or two so that's going to be coming up in another video and you know in some weird way around it might involve me starting more videos on on this channel but who knows and uh, what i'm going to do for you really quickly is give you an introduction and a tip number one uh, for a new series that i'm going to start on this channel um, which is going to be called how to become an esports commentator now apologies again for no camera the camera that i use i've managed to leave 50 miles away which isn't the brightest thing that I've ever done, especially when I've got commentary gigs coming up, but this is uh, the way of things. And you know, that's uh, one advantage is that I am getting a few more gigs these days, which is great. A little bit of an introduction uh, to this series and a bit of an introduction to myself as well, if you're new to this, and kind of give you the reasons why I feel I have any right to tell you how to get into esports commentary in the first place. Um, I started out commentating uh, around about 10 years ago now in Counter Strike when it was uh, Counter Strike Source. At one point, I had uh, multiple people, and we're counting over 10 here, so I'm calling it who at one point said I was probably one of the best in Europe. And you know, since then, I've kind of had good times and bad times and plenty of uh, unfortunate experiences that have forced me to disappear off the map for a little while but you know we're looking here 10 years on and I'm still just about staying relevant and managing to get commentary gigs which is great and you know, I'm, I'm just glad to still be involved in it and you know for what it used to be having to pay my own way the whole time and you know being quite a bit of money in the hole for my art if you like um you know it's nice to be able to get a few paid gigs and you know it's a nice little bit of extra pocket money alongside my regular job which is the big reason why i'm not doing more on this channel i think is i've got to work 40 hours a week to try and then come up with content but you know it's um uh, it's been good to me. I've enjoyed it, and you know, I'm I'm really enjoying it again, and and feeling at the best that I have done in a few years, which has been great. And yeah, since then I've floated around. I've uh, been to a number of events and and commentated live as well as online stuff. Um, some of the biggest events in the UK where I live, and also one of the biggest events in uh, the US. And unfortunately, I didn't get to fly out for that one. But the ESCA land, I covered it uh, back in the days. Of Source was their number one, their pinnacle event, and it was a privilege to be part of that with some great commentators, um, amongst other things. So I thought what I'd do is I'd give you a bit of an introduction on what you can do uh, to try and get into esports commentary. I've spoke to a few people that have been in the same kind of situation and done my best to try and help out. Out. because that's one thing that you can say these days is that it used to be there are so few geeks kicking around that you know, everyone would try and keep each other down and it wasn't the best kind of environment to be in but now there are so many more geeks floating around and it feels like uh, especially in the UK front where I'm uh, largely involved and I'm guessing outside of that as well everyone just seems to want to support each other just that little bit more and you know, want to work with a number of different people and learn from each other and you know, it's just a generally much better feeling and it seems like as commentators we get a bit of an easier ride as well um, from well <laughs> it, it swings around about if you watch a, a Twitch chat then you are going to get some ridiculous comments as the general stock thing but you know it seems like as a, a general rule you get a little more support as well and and less people on your back which is great so it's a much better time to start getting involved in commentary and if you're starting out as a newcomer i'm sure there'll be plenty of people that are willing to help you out along your way myself included so you know feel free to drop me a message if you get stuck uh, but my uh, tip number one, if you want to start getting involved in esports commentary, is to get involved in esports commentary, <laughs> which sounds very, very simple, but let me explain uh, really quickly. Um, with the way that things are these days, you know, internet connections are so much better that you can pretty much put some kind of stream together um, at worst case, I mean, you could do a local recording and upload it to YouTube, which I'm doing with this one. But, you know, streaming is fairly doable these days. Uh, it, it's easier than ever to try and get hold of a GoTV IP to jump into a game. You can find it on, on a number of resources. Uh, but, of course, we're not just talking about CSGO. But 
the chance of getting the opportunity to go in and spectate games and you know just go back and watch old games get a demo and and what's that for example it's so much easier to do that on a number of these games now and you can go back over things um, way more easily than than perhaps you're used to in some games so they're just more available generally so you've got a couple of options there and also you can just jump into random games and, and just keep yourself ticking along but yeah i think the big thing for you just to start out is to start and work on it and then watch a few other people that are right up there i mean I sat down with a guy probably, I was probably talking about six months ago now, um, who'd uh, not long started out. And the way that he started was watching some of my old commentaries from way back in the day. And you know, from that point, he instantly put himself in my good books. But you know, that's the way that you have to go and do things, is go and find out in your particular game, who are the main men? You know, Who should you be looking out for? And, and they won't be that difficult to find. you just got to find a major tournament, watch the stream back, and, and find out who were the guys that were commentating and try and pick up on some of their stuff and, and just kind of learn um, some of the things that they do and they bring to the table. And then just have a go yourself, jump in, upload it if you want and get a few people to watch or you don't even have to do that just record it and watch it back yourself and, and get a bit of feedback and you, know, you don't want to worry about it too much early on you don't want to try and emulate anyone too much just see what your natural personality is and what you can bring to the table and, and go from there and you know the, the fact of it is there are some people like myself that have been kicking around for the last 10 years and you know, get my uh, get plenty of opportunities as a result of that. You get some up and comers that have been around for kind of a year now, and you know they've uh, worked their way up and and the like, and they again got their opportunities. Uh, if you're coming in completely fresh to it, then chances are it's going to be a little while before you get your shot. But you know, if you start putting a bit of your material out there, getting some practice in, talking to people, finding out what you can do to improve, learning from it. You can see a pattern starting to emerge and you know, if you get the opportunity to go and jump on something then yeah I mean by all means go for it and it might be a little while before you can get yourself into a position where you're earning from it but the beauty of it is these days you're not really spending out any money you don't have to go trekking off to X, Y and Z event paying your own way just to make it happen it will either you know, you'll either get the invite get the opportunity and, and go from there or you can just sit at home and do it and kind of put up an unofficial stream if you like and you know, I don't think anyone will have too many problems with that especially if they publish a GoTVIP or, or drop a demo up or however it happens to work for the game that you're thinking about and just get out there and start practicing that's got to be your first port of call because you might find that you'll go and put up 20 games and you won't have a, a single clue what you're doing you'll trip over your words constantly you might unfortunately decide that maybe it's not one for you potentially or you might find out that straight off the bat you're a natural at it and you can end up jumping pretty quickly ahead in what you wanted to do i mean when i started 10 years ago i had no idea what commentary or shout casting as it was called at the time was what it was about so i just went and found an example of it and thought okay fair enough so it's just like football commentary but for counter-strike yeah and and jumped straight in and luckily had a bit of natural ability at it and it kind of exploded from there and the opportunities kept coming which is great but it's not going to be that easy for everyone and the only opportunity you've got to try and kick on is to keep on practicing putting the time in and just getting used to being behind the microphone and talking about these games and you'll find that the more you look at it i mean for example if you come at it from a player standpoint and you've been playing competitively for x number of years um, you may know everything about the game but in terms of relaying that to an audience that might be something you're a little weak on and you don't want to jump into your first game your first trial if you like with no practice and find out in the heat of the moment that you're not that good at sort of putting the words out there as such and you know really relaying what you want to say so if you can do that behind closed doors or to a very small audience who are willing to uh, give you some constructive criticism then all the better and it means that when you do get your chance to commentate a league or a, a tournament or something along that line you're ready to go and put in your best performance and yeah, that's got to be a good way just to get started, I would recommend. But, you know, amongst all else, whatever you're looking at in any walk of life, you're thinking, right, okay, I need to go and get a job, or I want to get myself in better shape for the summer, or I want to start, I don't know, I, I want to start paragliding or something like that. The only way that you're going to be able to do something and 
you know, actually carry out that dream or that goal is to start doing something, just anything, taking steps in that direction and be proactive about it. And, you know, these days it's so easy for that opportunity to um, arise as such. You can, you know, you can do it with your normal internet connection, with the PC that you've got, which is probably good enough for gaming and streaming. You, know, you can use XSplit, which you might have to pay a little license fee for, or you can use uh, OBS, which is free. And OBS uh, is probably a little easier if, on your uh, CPU and your, your PC in general if it's not up to the ultimate spec. And as far as, well, microphones and the like and webcams, where you can pick those up for so cheap. Um, the microphone I used was a USB desktop mic that I picked up from Maplin for 20 quid and you know, that's served me in good stead for a, a little while. Yeah, at the moment I'm wearing a, a headset that's been sent to me for a, a tournament I'm coming saying I don't get to keep it unfortunately but it gives me a chance to uh, trial it out and you know, that's uh, been an interesting experience and I'm 50-50 about whether I want to go and pick one up myself um, but you know, there are things that you can do and again a camera how much do you want to spend on a camera? Well, not a whole lot. You wouldn't think you could probably get a HD one for 40, 50 quid UK money these days. So again, you can get that. You can get yourself a camera, a microphone, the headset you've probably got if you're gaming anyway. And chances are, if you've got a half decent gaming headset, the microphone on that is going to be good enough to get you through to begin with. And yeah, okay. By all means, um, it's pretty much you get what you pay for as far as audio quality for the most part. But if you're just starting out and you're looking for any kind of uh, starting point then use what you got don't spend too much money on it until you, know, you start getting the opportunities where you need to uh, you know, really show off your best and you know, just get started just start working on the software like OBS or XSplit try and get a bit of experience with it learn how it works and just learn how you're um, I mean that's one thing right itself trying to click all the buttons plus get into the game and get yourself to that point and then focus on the game and then try and get your production in while you try to talk and feel dead air when you're flying solo well it's a real experience in itself and it's something that comes with practice but you know that's what you need that practice uh, to put in so that's my tip number one if you want to start getting into esports commentary just start doing something get yourself out there get some practice and see if you like it and with any luck you know you won't take it too seriously early on you'll let it flow just relax into it and then see what you can come up with and you might surprise yourself with how much you can already do and what you can bring to the table right away and you know from that point you've just got to keep adding tools as time goes on but we'll discuss that as we uh, move forward uh, so I'm going to uh, try and upload these as regularly as I can I'll try and do it as a weekly thing but no promises on that front which we'll just have to see this is me after all but thank you very much for watching if you've got uh, any comments uh, anything that you'd like me to talk about any questions as far as getting into esports commentary then please uh, drop them in the comment section or drop me a message on YouTube and I will do my very best to respond and I will catch you next time thank you very much